So guys, wanted to show you my wireless mic. So uh, since I'm not gonna like undo my uh, setup in there, but this is what the receiver looks like. So it basically comes with a receiver here, and then this is the body pack transmitter. And um, you can get different kinds of headsets. I got the uh, cardioid headset, which is rugged, comfortable, head-worn microphone. So usually I'm wearing that like kind of around my neck, and then if we're doing a dance or something like that, I'll put it up uh, on my head, but I just don't want to have it on my head all day. It's just kind of uncomfortable. So the main thing I do is when I switch it on and you can hear my voice from all the way across the gym, like this. All right, everybody. Right. I taught for about eight years without this, and then once I got it, I was like, how have I gone so long without using this mic? Because uh, when you're in the gym, uh, being able to not have to yell or use a loud voice to be able to get to those kids across the uh, gym in the corner, it helps you save so much energy. Uh, and also it allows you to give instructions to your kids when they're spread out and everybody can still hear you. Um, and so usually this goes on at the beginning of the day, don't take it off all day. When I bring my kids in close, I'll just cut it off. And then when my kids are uh, far away, sometimes I'll just leave it down like this. You can see it gives you kind of that amplification. Or if it's really loud and I need to say something important, I'll just talk like this. It allows you to have that loud gym voice, but still talk in a calm, reassuring, and relaxed tone to your students so you're not yelling at kids. Um, so that's the, uh, the Shure mic. I've got a link to it on our uh, Amazon page. And basically, this is battery powered. And then there's a uh, receiver that plugs into my stereo that plugs into the wall. So the only thing I ever have to worry about is uh, doing the making sure I do the batteries. And I'll show you the um, battery charger that I use. It's like a rechargeable battery. It takes AAA batteries and AA batteries. So I use it for all my... TV, DVD, remotes, and all that stuff. Um, and I've had it for a couple of years. It works really great. Um, last thing on this is uh, inside there are a few things that you kind of have to dial in. Um, there's a few little dials and things like that. So when I first got this, I just had to put it on and just kind of play around with it and figure out uh, with my music, because I stream my music Bluetooth as well, where was the right volume for this to go to that and to also have the music with the iPod. And uh, you just kind of have to like figure it out, play around a little bit. And um, yeah, it's been great. I love it. And that's the uh, wireless mic. And I'll link it up in the description. Now let's check out the battery charger. All right, so here's my uh, battery charger. And the reason that I love this is because it's the same charger and it can take uh, AAA or AA. So like you can have these in here and there's like a little uh, smaller one that you use to do a AAA battery. And then there's a bigger one that you use to do the AA battery and you can put them in the same charger. And then it also has these uh, USB ports here for like if you wanted to charge your iPhone or you had like an iPad or something. So it's kind of like my electronic station. Um, as you can see, I've got my iPods that I keep plugged in here, uh, or my iPads and my iPod and batteries. So anytime my battery runs out on my wireless mic, I just come flip it in here or same thing for like my TV remote, just use the uh, AAA batteries. But two thumbs up and that's it guys hope that was helpful uh wireless mic rechargeable batteries a little pricey but totally worth it uh wouldn't teach without them and they're so helpful in saving your vocal cords and your energy as well as helping you to talk calmly to your students but still be able to project your voice in a way that they can hear you when it's loud in the gym especially for double classes when you got a big group of kids like when we have 50 kids in here it is a struggle to, uh, to teach without this. This really, really helps a lot with management, with helping kids understand instructions and directions. So hope that's helpful and have an awesome day. Have fun and teach on. Catch you guys later. So I shot that whole video and then when I was editing it, I realized that I uh, never actually showed you like what it looks like on my head. Um, I, it's not necessarily uncomfortable uh, wearing it on my head. I just find that I don't like um, during the day to have it like this because when I'm talking to kids, I feel like it uh, is, isn't 
there's like something in between us when we're talking. So normally after I get done with instructions during the day, I find I wear like this a lot more. And then if I need to give a quick refinement, it's just a lot easier for me to turn the mic on and either just talk with it around my neck or just put it up to my, my mouth like this for a quick refinement. Um, but if I'm doing something where I'm like walking around the gym and the kids are in one spot and they're all spread out or I'm doing an exercise so I use both my hands and I don't want the mic like bouncing around or like during the jump rope unit, if I'm doing a jump rope trick, I'll have it on my head uh, so that it's not bouncing around while it's on. It's kind of distracting. Um, but I do wear it like this at times when I'm giving a demonstration or not, but I find the majority of the time I end up putting it around my neck. And if I'm not going to be talking for more than a couple of uh, seconds or even like one minute I'll just do this it's a lot easier and quicker and more efficient um, and also I feel like it's uh, when I'm working one-on-one -on -one with a student it's a little bit uh, less like weird if I if I have this on my face when I'm talking to them um, it just feels different when I have this down it feels like they can connect with me a little bit better so that's why I find that I wear it mostly around my neck um, but I didn't want you to think that you can't wear it like this and I also wanted to make sure that I showed you how it was designed to be worn. Um, this little like wire thing can stretch in and out so you can kind of figure out where you want it volume wise on your head. But that's what it looks like on your head and I wear it like this uh, maybe 10 to 15 percent of the time. Um, but most of the day it's it's hanging right here on my neck. So quick add-on. I hope that's helpful. Have a great day guys. Bye.